everyone, my name is Josh, and we put together a series uh, about mobile action, which is my favorite tool for App Store intelligence, optimization, and really just getting apps discovered or learning more about apps. Uh, the website for, the, for mobile action is mobileaction.co, as you can see here. Uh, it's free to get started. Uh, you can start tracking an app, some keywords, competitors, and really start to learn more about what's going on uh, in mobile and within the, both the app and Play Store. We're going to quickly log into the dashboard. Uh, this, this is just a very basic intro video, and we're going to spend a little bit more time in future videos so that you can get more out of uh, the mobile action tool to help get your app discovered or learn more about the app, app and Play Stores. So let's click here and go to the dashboard. I was looking at a running app earlier, Runtastic, and you can get a really a brief overview of what they're doing. Uh, you can see how that they, they're tracking pretty high on, on visibility. Uh, they're in the health and fitness. This is all data that's, that mobile action pulls. Uh, the different things that they're ranking for, for keywords, category trends, download trends, rating and review trends. So you can get a better idea of everything that uh, any app is doing. Uh, if you're interested in App Store optimization, that's really the benefit of this keyword analysis, which we'll talk about further. Market intelligence, this is exciting because you get to see the top apps, get estimates uh, of how many downloads they're getting on a day-to-day -day basis and revenue. Uh, this helps you make wise decisions. Uh, also, I love this. This is a really recommended action, but it should be called a playbook because there's 70 over 70 actions there of how to help get your app discovered more, uh, more visible with an App Store, uh, marketed better. And then, of course, trends. You can uncover a whole ton of stuff, which we'll talk about. They have a plan for everyone. It's free to get started, which is which is just which is awesome for most for developers, especially if you're a small guy. And they have a plan for literally anyone. So, um, great tool. Uh, highly recommend it. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video series. So let's get started um, to learn how to use the mobile action tool by just going through and signing up and uh, quickly adding an app and a competitor. Go to mobileaction.co and once you're there, click on the orange sign up button and the sign up is free and mobile action is going to help make your app more visible. Uh, it does that through App Store Intelligence, App Store Optimization and a ton of actionable insights that help from everything from ASO to app analytics and, uh, and a ton of other options. So over here, just punch in your uh, email address password and then let's go ahead and sign up. Click sign me up and we're gonna quickly onboard. Uh, I obviously don't develop an, these apps but let me just show you how to track an app. If it's your app, punch it in here and it'll come up. We're gonna follow ESPN. Click here, it'll show up on iOS. Android's down below. But we're gonna go ahead and just use the iOS version. So it's adding it now. And let's track a competitor. Uh, in this case, let's do Yahoo Sports. And all you have to do is collect, select that one. And then if you have an iTunes account, then just collect, um, add your iTunes. So then you can track a ton of extra additional stuff, um, including downloads, uh, revenue, uh, conversion rates, and many other things. If you don't have the iTunes Connect for, for that app, then it's okay. You can click here, go to Dashboard. And now you're in the tool. Pretty easy. Um, you can go ahead and start to do things like keyword analysis, competitor analysis, download estimations, and recommended actions, which are some of the tools we'll copy. We'll, we'll go over through in, in this lecture series. Let's look at a great site of information. Uh, that's going to be the mobile action recommended actions. Um, what Mobile Action has done, and to, to access that, by the way, all you need to do is come here and click Recommended Actions. We're going to look at this for uh, Podomatic. Uh, any app can be here, and we're going to see um, some, some of these great tips all in one location. So now you don't have to scour the web for best practices. Uh, it's all here. Just within your dashboard, click on it, and you can start to see these 70 tips. Here's the app that we're, you're tracking currently um, from your dashboard. And then over here are your actions completed. Right now, mobile action, uh, Podomatic's only done three of the 70, um, but there's a lot more room for them to grow. And this is things that mobile action can help out with. Uh, what I've seen within the mobile action tool is it's got some fantastic tips for ASO, app store optimization, analytics, user acquisition, and engagement. 
Um, there's a ton of blogs and a ton of information, and they've their con. I think the content team has gone out there and put, pulled together a lot of different things to make uh, to you know provide you with the best practices and help you out uh, to help your app get discovered. So let's take a look at some of these um, some things. One of the things I really like to do with with apps I work with is doing A/B testing for app screenshots. If you click go through here and open up it, open up each tip, it's going to tell you the impact the difficulty level, who in the organization should do it, and whether or not it's a one-time or an ongoing thing. They've also improved links to um, various blogs, whether it's their own or outside blogs, to help them out. And also, they provide a definition of what it is. So screenshots are key for converting traffic on your app's app store page into downloads. Uh, test variations. So this is maybe something you've already thought of or you haven't done, but it's also provided here in, in a one-stop shop for you. And when you're done with that, you can just click here, and then that'll update your actions. Maybe you need to understand the analytics more of your app. You can do that. Um, maybe it's identifying your user profiles. This is, again, a, a large impact. This is a medium diff difficulty. And this is for a product manager or marketer. Of course, if you're a small app shop, you just, you'll just you be doing some of these things yourself. But you can get a better idea for this. So it's 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 a free tool for any user on mobile action it's I, I you know i i've used this for various apps that i've worked with it's easy um it's, it's insightful and this will really help drive your app and create more visibility if you spend a lot of time on these actions um yeah so hopefully that's uh, some good tidbits for you on the recommended actions from on mobile action alex so today we're going to look at the mobile action keyword analysis tool. Now you can start tracking some of your keywords for free. I personally love it and use it all the time for the apps that I work with. So let's, right now we're on the dashboard page, but let's look at Spotify. As you can see here, this is for uh, iTunes, iOS. And let's click on keyword analysis on the left hand side here. We're going to dig deep into some of the things that Spotify are doing and where they can improve. So let's scroll down the page. Uh, to the bottom here, and we're going to look at my keywords. I went ahead and populated some keywords, as you can see here, uh, for Spotify. The key things we're going to look at are keywords, search score, total apps, and current rank. Keywords are any keywords from your app's title and keywords that you submit for iOS. And on Google Play, it's things that you're showing for between your title and your description. But let's focus on iOS for this example. So over here is a search score that mobile action creates based on the amount of searches for any given term. Then also mobile action knows how many total apps are competing for that and then your current rank um, for that keyword or keyword combination if it's multiple words uh, shows here for that category. Currently let's look at music playlists Spotify is showing up number two for this with a 31 search score. What does 31 search score mean? It's a, that's a good search score it's getting tens of thousands of views a month, and so it's fairly competitive with 6,000 apps competing for it. 30 and over for search score, in my opinion, it's a good search score to try to be in the top 10 for. If, you're un if it's under 30 and you're number one or two position, I, I think it's still a good idea to keep that. You just might not be seeing uh, the amount of organics and the amount of downloads because it's not as popular as search score. Music, on the other hand, is hugely popular with the 62. That's massive. That's getting millions of search scores a month. But there's also 45,000 apps competing for that. Of course, Spotify being a huge player is showing number three for that. Um, and that's quite good, but it's a very competitive um, keyword. But let's see what they're missing. So music player and music downloader, these are both terms of over 50. There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of, view, uh, of search scores a month for these types of terms. And there's only 5,952 uh, for the respective terms uh, that, are sh that are apps showing for that. So these are terms that um, Spotify may want to consider um, do, uh, updating in their next uh, keyword, uh, keyword change when they submit their next update for iOS. So that's to get an idea of how to use the mobile action keyword tool. One other thing to click on is competitors keywords. I went ahead and added two and let's look at iHeartRadio. And some of the other words that I think are, is was quite interesting is let's take top music. There's only 1,276 apps. Search score of 41, very popular search. And they're number one. So if you click on it and scroll back to the top of the page, you can see top music and how well iHeartRadio has been doing for this. 
And then you can also come over here and see in the top 10, Spotify is not here. That means Spotify is probably not using this keyword. It's a three letter word, doesn't take up many characters, and a very popular word to use as well. So that's a bit of information on how to use the keyword analysis tool with mobile action. Today we're going to look at the mobile action tool for download estimations. This is an extremely powerful tool for App Store intelligence, which can help you with your App Store marketing and your App Store optimization. So find out where you need to be to compete with apps um, that are ahead of you or how far below they are so you can stay ahead of the game. Today we're going to look at Free Music Streamer. Uh, it's number five app on iTunes. As you can see, we're looking at iTunes here. And uh, they have some very tough competitors in front of them. This may be a top app, but this tool, the download estimation tool, it doesn't matter whether you're number one in your category, number 100, or number 1,000. It will, if you have any downloads, it's going to be able to sh show you and where your competitors are so you know what, it, you, what you need to do to overtake them and also when to spike with either marketing, PR, um, advertising, whatever it is you want to do to move ahead of them. So let's click on download estimations and discuss free music streamer and their competitors. So I went ahead and pre-populated this with a few of their competitors and in music we know most of the usual suspects like Pandora, Spotify, SoundCloud and iHeart but what's really interesting from this chart is we can see that you know Pandora and Spotify are heads and tails above the rest. They're getting nearly 70, 80,000 downloads a day in the U.S. alone on iOS. That's crazy. Whereas the number three and four spots, iHeart and SoundCloud, are way less than half that, 20 to 30,000 each day. So that means Music Streamer says, oh, I want to do an ad campaign or I need to do a big update or some PR. They know what they need to do to get ahead of number four and three to help with organic visibility within things like top charts. And by moving up the rankings, and getting improving your download velocity, you're also going to see uplift in your ASO keyword searches, uh, which we covered in the keyword analysis talk. So one other interesting aspect that you can see uh, within the download estimation, the daily download, is you see these spikes on Friday and Saturday, Thursday, Friday. Um, right here again, you see that they start to move up Friday, Saturday. Maybe that's within the music category because people are off of work, they're getting ready for a party, or they're on the weekend and playing music for their friends. But downloads occur, uh, are, are spike a bit more uh, every weekend, the Friday, Saturday versus Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's easier to be more competitive, especially if you're further down the rankings on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday than it is on Friday, Saturday when more people are downloading music apps. These are things that you can look at and discover from within this chart. Um, health and fitness apps, I know Sunday and Monday, it's a uh, more competitive because people feel bad after the way they were on the weekend, maybe they ate or drank too much. So it's really interesting to get to know your category. So this is the download estimation tool on mobile action. I know that I think there's a free trial and I'm pretty sure it's a fairly low cost, but the information that you can glean from this is invaluable for your app and the app store.